hello guys this is another video i will be showing you how you can verify your paypal account using a visa card so for this video i'll be using an example of an equity visa card so equity visa card actually i've seen it working for many kenyans so i think equity is the best choice regarding to verifying your paypal account so right now on my screen i'm on the home page for equitygroupholdings.com so i want you to go to this page by just typing on your browser equitygroupholdings.com you can as well find the link in the description Okay, once you are on this page for equitygroupholdings.com, you can scroll down. Yeah, first you need to select your country. Of course, it's Kenya. So yeah, of course we need to open an account for equity for you to access a visa card from equity. So I click on open account. Okay, on open an account you see there are more more than one choices for small business corporate chama groups and diaspora of course for us we need to open and we need a personal account so i click on we need to find out more about creating a personal account So this is the information for opening equity ordinary account which is your personal account basically these are for individuals it's for individuals singly or jointly groups groups and registered entities be separated from the individual registered entities so the next thing we need to do okay as well you can find the requirements no minimum operating balance and interest on balance balances get above 10,000 Kenyan shillings of course no monthly charges full access to mobile banking and internet banking customer can use payment card that is suits their needs cash and check deposits so we will now download the application form to open to open an individual account right so this is the form you need to fill so the type of account is equity ordinary account currency of course you will choose Kenyan shillings then this you need to fill in your personal details the next is if you want a checkbook you can as well click yes if no you can click no all right now for more mobile banking do you use any mobile banking service? Mm -hmm. Of course, no, since you don't have an account. If yes, of course, you don't have to choose this one if you click no. I will proceed to would you like to add this account to the above mobile banking service? Of course, it's yes. Then you write your mobile number. Would you like to register for mobile banking service for this account? Yes. If yes, which service? Of course, if you want a SIM card, you can tick on Equita or you want a ap mobile application easy. 247. For you now to apply for a visa card. 
do you have a debit card no if yes would you like to this account of course you don't have a visa card okay so if you don't have a visa card you click on yes so for, if yes which one you can choose between equity visa mastercard so we can take on equity visa because that's what we need we shall be using in this video now this part is for the signature declaration okay i think these are just some of the requirements original id passport so these are the things you need to have gone through for you to succeed in the process all right all right all right okay once you have finished filling the form equity will take mm -hmm. some amount of, of time to process your details and uh, dip, depending on their workload uh, you need to wait for, for them to process the information okay once they are done uh, opening your account then you will be provided to them an account number so the next step is now the application of a visa card on right now it's now time to we need to apply for a debit card using equity okay you'll use this link in the description i'll leave i'll leave a link in the description for you to check yeah you need a debit card thing we need to do is just to download the application form so this application form for applying for an equity visa card yeah i can zoom for you to see what information they require so these are just some of the personal information they need. So again, depending on the workload or the branch for equity, it will take them some time to process and you will be provided with a visa card. Okay, now it's time to for us to go to paper. Thing I've shown you how you can apply for your card, card information, and it's now time to look into paper and verify a paper account. So just look into your paper and we shall complete the process. Okay, I'm now on my PayPal. It's now my PayPal account. Okay, once you are logged in, you need to click on the wallet tab. Just click on the wallet tab. Okay, what we need to do is just link a card. So, enter the created card number. So, the debit card number. So, I will enter mine. Then, we proceed. Then, click link card. Link your card. So I get this information. Okay, I think this information is just for verifying if my if my PayPal and my 
my card number is working so i just click on done okay i think it was automatically verified since my paypal account i had used my visa card i had linked my visa card that's why it was automatically verified so for your case you will find a link somewhere here telling you to you need to verify the card so just click on that link and paypal will, will deduct around two dollars from your account to complete the procedure so for your case you just need to have at least two dollars to complete the process so guys i hope this video actually in your idea pakasai so if that's the case so i need you to subscribe to my subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, you know i will be bringing you more videos so i will appreciate for your support and of course it will let you more videos so again, see you for now. Na tupatane kwa video ingine.